What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. In today's video, we're going to check out an extension that allows you to create tapering shapes within SketchUp. Before I get started, I want to thank my two newest supporters on Patreon, Greg McKendry and Gleason Craftworks. So Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you like what I'm doing on the show, maybe you also want to vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Taper Maker. Plugin developer, Terry R. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? It's available in both the SketchUp and SketchUcation extension stores. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you draw tapering shapes along a path, like a, like a rectangular shape that tapers between a larger and smaller rectangle. It's fairly easy to use. You simply select your path, then run the extension, and set which kind of shape you'd like to place along the path. There are several to choose from, including rectangles, squares, circles, and more. Once you pick your shape type, you can adjust things like the size of the start and finish shapes, as well as the path position, which allows you to set if your shape is centered on the path, and the bevel angle, which will allow you to bevel the edges of your shape. After setting all of these options, you'll then get a message asking if the ends are correct on your path which can allow you to swap the wide and narrow ends of your taper. Note that this extension seems to work even on paths that aren't welded together, meaning you can generally skip the step where you need to weld multiple curves together in order to work on your shape. It's worth noting that you're probably going to want to use the soften edges command in your tray in order to smooth out the shapes that are created so that you can hide a lot of the extra geometry that's shown. This will make your shapes look a lot better. In addition to being able to create shapes along a single path, there are several options at the bottom of the list that allow you to create some shapes based on two paths, like rectangles, quadrilaterals, and trapezoids. This allows for some interesting shape and taper creation. Overall, this is an interesting extension to me. It works really well, and I can think of some interesting shapes that I could create with it, but I have a feeling it's one of those extensions that you don't really have a use for initially, and then a condition comes up that it's just perfect for. Between that, the fact that it's a pretty lightweight extension, and the fact that it's free, it's definitely something you should download and check out. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension you're interested in? Can you think of some cool uses for this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.